today I'm going to be doing a simple planter to hopefully give us some colour over autumn and winter. And especially 2020, we need some colour. I'm just going to be using a little selection of hardy plants that I picked up from the local supermarket, but obviously you can get them anywhere really this time of year. Um, go to your garden centres, your supermarkets, wherever. So I've got some cyclamen, some primroses, some heathers, and some violas. I made a few up the other day and they seem to be settling in alright because I had some cyclamen in a hanging basket so I just planted that here so we could actually see it and I got some pansies so I've got that one got this little one and that one I'm just going to be using a couple ceramic pots that I already had this had some weeds in it basically so I've emptied that out it's got a drainage hole this had a courgette in which is basically finished so I've just taken that out emptied the soil as you can see that's also got some drainage because it's going to be wet and cold and icy all winter so there's going to have to be some drainage because soil's kind of hard to come by at the moment in my area um, I've just got basically a mix of the soil that was in there because that was relative real, relatively okay and just some general all-purpose compost and I've mixed that up just to give it a little bit of something for the plants in there but they ain't gonna need a lot they're hardy and they're used to pretty harsh conditions all of these plants originate from areas of northern Europe and places where it's they get cold temperatures over winter heather grows on alpine regions on the side of mountains and primroses, cyclamen, and violas are all fully hardy also. They're used to areas where they're going to get a lot of frost and a lot of snow, so they'll just keep doing their thing, and hopefully they should flower over winter and give us some colour during the cold, dark months. You can use plastic pots, such as that one, but ideally you're going to want ceramic because it's going to help protect from the frost a bit more. Uh, it absorbs some heat during the day which it can release to the plants. So now I'm just going to start planting. So in the bottom of this pot I'm just going to put some gravel, some stones, just to help with the drainage because it's going to be cold and wet. So and Now I'm going to start adding my compost mix which I just made with some old compost that I already had mixed in with a bit of fresh just to give it some nutrients. Take out any roots you find that are sort of sticking out a lot. Thinking I'm gonna have this area as the back, so I'm gonna go from taller plants to smaller toward the front. So firstly, I'm gonna put in some heathers. So these should hopefully flower over winter until about March. And because they come from cold mountainous regions of Europe they're going to be able to handle frost and snow and anything the British winter is going to throw at it loosen up the roots a little bit because it's pretty pot bound stroke it a little bit loosen them up this is all totally a matter of taste and whatever you want to do obviously so the next thing I'm going to put in I think is this white cyclamen I think it will stand out quite nice against the pink slash purple of the heather gently get it out of the pot and then I'm just going to add some small violas to fill in this space There's a finished autumn slash winter planter. I've got my heather, cyclamen, and some violas. I've tried to not overfill it because these will spread. I still had a bunch of plants left over, so I'm gonna do a couple more small planters. 
I'm just going to do the same thing with these pots. I've got a few, just to get everything planted up so that, so that they can establish. And it looks pretty to you. And yeah, there's some worms in there, but you know, they're good. They break up the soil, give you some nutrients, so I ain't bothered about that. Excuse the crocs and socks. The state of it. primroses are quite big, I'm just going to put it in on its own for now. For the remaining plants, so I've got a heather and some also, some violas. I'm going to put these in this long trough because they will spread. And then we just need to water them in thoroughly. And there we go, some nice autumn planters which will hopefully give us some colour through the autumn and through the winter. The care for all of these plants is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, you just want to make sure that the soil's evenly moist or try to keep it evenly moist at all times but not soggy so that they're sat in swampy conditions and because they're all hardy they should be fine but so they can um, withstand some frost and some freezing weathers but if it's going to be ridiculously cold like arctic then you might want to cover them up or mulch them a little bit but they should be hardy and good to go.